Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Hazib Rahim bin Sarudin. Today we are going to explain about our lab MSSE. Okay, here our group member Muhammad Aziz Haris bin Azhari, Muhammad Farhan bin Muhammad Yusuf, and Muhammad Hazib bin Muhammad Nuh. Okay, uh, I will go first uh, to introduction. Okay, a power system is an electrically interconnected network that includes power generation, transmission, distribution, and consumption. Power is generated. Utilizing a variety of energy sources and the produced electricity is carried via transmission line before being distributed to end customer. The capacity of sequence machines to quickly recover to a steady state function after suffer interruption or disturbance is crucial to the stability of the power system. Okay, there are two types of uh, power system stability. First, steady state stability uh, and second, transient stability. Okay, uh, this is uh, our objective. First, to create a power system test system model in MATLAB Simulate. Second, to examine dynamic responses in the presence of disturbance in the system. Lastly, to collaborate with others to address complicated power system challenges in a short period of time. Okay, next, uh, I will list uh, our scopes for this lab. First, this solution will be performed with MATLAB Simulink. Second, this system is used to analyze the system transition stability. Okay, lastly, the ability of the power system to return to a stable state and sustain synchronism after responding to abrupt load fluctuations and fault disturbances, also known as transition stability. Okay, that's all for me. Uh, we move to next group member. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Azharis bin Azari. My no metric is DE20067. And now I'll proceed for the bus 7. So, we will see the sudden large increment at load at bus 7 using normally open 3 phase circuit breaker with a switch open and 150% increment max. The load connection at bus 7 is connected to a 3 phase circuit breaker with parallel to RLC load is linked together. The function of the 3 phase circuit breaker is to open and close. When the circuit breaker is open condition, a will cause large increment to the load when the circuit is closed condition. It will cause large decrement to the load. As we can see, the graph of roto angle compared to generator machine for roto angle versus time. The yellow and blue line indicate generator 1 and 2, respectively, respectively at area 1, while the red line indicate generator 3 at area 2. The roto angle of area 1 increased significantly and entered unstable condition when the 150% load increment happened at bus 7. This happened to the, due to the increased load demand occur at area 1 which consumed a lot of real power from the generator. More torque is required to the generator electrical power to overcome the demand hence to the gener generator synchronism varied as well as the roto angle indirectly. The roto of area 1 is returned back to the stable condition when the final time is reached and stop when the load is more than 150%. Next is the graph of roto speed versus time. The yellow and blue line indicate generator 1 and generator 2 machine respectively at area 1 while the red and green line generator and generator 4 machine at area 2. Before external load is added to the system, the overall generator machine nearly able to reach the same speed at 100% pico unit. However, all generator machines is Speed increased significantly and entered unstable condition when the external 150% increment load is added. The generator machine speed of area 1 increased at, as the incident happened at the particular area and more torque required to overcome the extra demand at the moment. The generator machine speed can return back to the stable condition when the final time is reached. And we can see the graph of electrical power versus time graph. The graph of electrical power of machine versus time. The yellow blue line indicate generator 1 and generator 2 machine respectively at area 1, while the red and green line indicate the generator 3 and generator 4 machine at area 2. As same as the other result, the overall electrical power increased and entered unstable condition when the 150% load increment occur. The rest of area 1 more significant as compared to area 2 since the load demand is increased at area 1. Sudden load increment cause insufficient of power supply at the moment and draw out the initial power. Next, we will proceed for the sudden large decrement of load at bus 7 using normally closed 3 phase circuit breaker with switch closed and 150% decrement max. So, 
As the figure above, the load condition at bus 7 is connected to a three-phase circuit breaker with a parallel to RLC load is linked together. The function of three-phase circuit breaker is to open and close. When the circuit breaker is open condition, it will cause a large increment to the load but when the circuit is closed, the condition it will cause a large decrement to the load. The power system stability will return back to the normal state stability when the load is decreased more than 150% from the initial load. So, for the rotor angle versus time graph, the decreasing load demand affected the thermal equilibrium of the power system stability because the less burden. Unstable condition as the rotor angle of area 1 is different to area 2. The power system will return back to the stable condition when the final time is reached and the synchronized is lost when the more than 150% load increment is applied. Next, for the rotor speed versus time graph, when the 150% load decrement occurs, the overall generator machine speed suddenly increases because of the top need power generation decrease which result in faster rotor speed rotational. However, the power system able to return back to the stable condition as the generator machine is synchronized speed at 1.06 pico unit when the final team is reached and the synchronized stop when the more 150% load decrement is applied to the system. So, finally, for the electrical power versus time graph, the electrical power of machine at area 1 entered unstable condition which Transient graph is shown when 150% load decrement occur. The sudden in, in, in decrease load demand freed up the partial electrical power that supposedly sufficient for load demand proposed in the power system. It will stable when all the electrical power return back to the similar value level and consume real power on generator machine without any side effect. So that's all for bus 7. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Farhan bin Muhammad Yusuf, CE210182. Group 4 and Section 5. Now I will present it about the bus 5 for the power transition analysis. Steady state. Now I will be uh, open the bus 9 at the area 2. So as shown of the figure here, so the load connection of bus 9 is connected to three phase circuit breaker uh, and it is parallel to RLC load which is linked together. The function of three-phase load, uh, three-phase circuit breaker is to open and close, which is will be will give the large increment and also the large decrement that we will see when the simulation. Now, let's continue to the simulation. When I run the simulation, it will be give three type of a graph, which is uh, rotor angle uh, versus time, rotor speed versus time, and also the electrical power. Now for the first data here is the uh, graph of rotor angle to the generator generator machine for versus time. The yellow and blue uh, is shown respectively to the uh, area 1 and for the red color is for the area 2. The, the road area 2 is increased uh, significantly and enter a uh, unstable condition when 150% load, load of increment happened at bus 9. So, this is happened due to the increased load demand occur at the machine generator 3 and the generator 4 at area 2 which consume a real power from, from the generator. Motor torque is required to generate the electrical power to overcome the demand of the generator. So, at the uh, graph for the generator area 2 which is gener uh, Green line is the indicate generator 3, red and green generator 3 and 4 machine at area 2. While the yellow and blue line uh, will be the uh, indicate the generator 1 and generator 2 machine at area 1. So, uh, before external load is added to the system, uh, overall generator machine nearly to reach um, the same speed as shown at the graph here. And then uh, it is significantly entered unstable condition when the entered when it entered the 150% of uh, incremental load is added. So the generator machine of area 2 is increased, which is the color of uh, red and green increase here. And then uh, stable uh, at the particular area after the incident happened. So, uh, the overall speed increased up to 1.04 per unit, uh, much higher compared to the generator 1 and generator 2. Machine speed and the synchronism stop when 
load of increment more than uh, 150%. This is the graph for the electrical power versus time. For the green and red, uh, represent the red and green represent the generator 3 and generator 4 uh, at the area 2. And also general uh, the blue and yellow will be the generator 1 and generator 2 at the area 1. So uh, the area the rise of area 2 was significant compared to area 1 due to the <coughs> load increment occur, which is after 150 percentage of load increment, it will uh, the power consumed, electrical power consumed by the machine generator 3 and generator 4 is 2.2 uh, per unit and synchronism stop when the load increment is achieved the 150%. Now let's continue with the bus 9 which is circuit breaker, it is closed, RLC. Uh, in this bus 2, it will be considered circuit breaker closed and it will cause the uh, the large decrement to the power system analysis. The power system stability will return back to normal state stability when the load is decreased more than 150% from the initial load. Here is the graph for the uh, machine generator 3 and generator 4, area 2, uh, roto angle, roto angle time, generator 3 and generator 4, area 2 is increased when 150% of load decrement occur. The decreasing load demand affected the thermal equilibrium of the power system stability become less burden. For the rotors, for the rotor speed uh, versus time graph, the when 150 load decrement occur, the overall generator machine, which is generator three and generator four, speed suddenly increase because of the torque needed uh, power generation decrease, which result in faster rotor speed rotational. Here is the graph. And lastly, the electrical power uh, versus time. Machine generator 3 and generator 4 at area 2 entered the unstable condition uh, which transition graph is shown 150% uh, load decrement occur. The sudden in decrease load demand freed up the partial electrical power that is supposed to be sufficient for load demand proposed in power system. It is stable when all the electrical power returned back to similar value value level which initial load level bus 9 which is 1767 megawatt rear power and 100 megawatt reactive power and also 350 megawatt reactive power that's all for me thank you thanks and assalamualaikum my name is Muhammad Haziq bin Muhammad no so today I'm going to present for MSSE Laboratory for Power System Stability Simulation on MATLAB Simulink. I will be doing the analysis for permanent and temporary voltage for, for bus number 8, bus number 5 at area 1 and bus, bus number 8 at area 1 and bus number 5 at area 2. Yeah, I'm sorry, bus number 5 at area 1 and bus number 11 at area 2. So we begin with bus number 8 which is located between bus number 1 and bus number 2 and between bus number 7 at area 1 and bus number 9 at area 2. So for temporary voltage three phase fault, we use the component from Simscape Laboratory or MATLAB Simulink named as three phase fault. So we just wire up at uh, between bus 1 and bus 2 and we click at the block for three phase fault on simulating block or simscape. We set the switching time for 1.5 and 2. So we will observe the changes in the simulation time from 1.5 and 2. It uh, There will be occur steady state uh, steady state uh, steady state stability 
dynamic stability or transition stability, which is unstable or stable condition. And we set the fault resistance to 0 0.001 ohm and ground resistance to 0 0.01 ohm. This is a default setting. And same post number resistance as number capacity is also in default setting. So just click apply and press OK. And we will observe the graph over here. Click on the machines, uh, the green color one over here, machines. And we will observe four types of graph over here. So the first one is the rotor angle versus machine four angle in uh, degree unit. So as we can see, the yellow color and the blue color is represent for machine generator machine at area one, which is uh it is located at bus seven. The machine is located at bus seven. So as we can see, the rotor angle for yellow and blue color is uh enter is increasing. Uh it is unstable at first, at first two second, and enter transition stability state as soon as it reaches. 3 seconds and slowly will become stable after it reach uh, 7 seconds. So for the red color is uh, represent for machine number 4, generator machine number 4 located at area number 2. So uh, for, for the rotor angle for machine 4 is only a bit unstable at the first 2 seconds and became become stable as soon as it reach 20 seconds of simulation time so this uh, is because uh, machine 4 is not uh, cause any disturbance or does not have disturbance fault during the, the time that's why it is stable while the uh, w or we call angular frequency or rotor speed in p per unit value so as we can see we just we just set the switching time to 1.5 and 2 seconds we can see that the rotor angle become uh occur occur unstable state at 1.5 to 2 second so like i said the blue color line and yellow color line are generator machine 1 and generator machine 2 while the green color and the red color or magenta or i just can say red color and green color are the generator machine 3 and 4 at area 2 so, because uh, the fault occur at between bus 7 and bus 9, so the both of the generator machine will have a uh, disturbance between 1.5 seconds to 2 seconds, which is permanent disturbance. And slowly, will the rotor angle will increase to up to, I can say that the maximum is 1.0035 or 1.004 per unit and slightly will become stable after as soon as it reach uh, 14 seconds and thermal equilibrium is achieved for every uh, unit we we measure or uh, analyze and observe because uh, after steady state occur thermal equilibrium will achieve and for the pa or we call the electrical power of machine use in terms of per unit we can see that both uh, in generator machine 1, which is in blue color and yellow color, is uh, increased for 1 second, which is 0 0.1 per unit. And generator machine 3 and 4, which is green color and red color, it become negative uh, electrical power consumed, which is negative 0 0.08 per unit. And in uh, 1.5 to 2 seconds, the temporary voltage occur so both machines are unstable at the time and as as, as soon as it reach 4 seconds uh, both machines uh, become achieve a stable stability state and thermal equilibrium and same for the voltage uh, supply or total voltage per unit uh, same case as electrical power consume so let's uh, move to uh, Permanent bolted for permanent bolted, uh, permanent bolted three phase fault. So just we just use the same same value, but we replace the switching time to zero because this is a permanent, which means that the disturbance will become much longer. So we set the switching time to zero and click apply for permanent 
bolted uh, disturbance at bus A, then click OK, and we will observe the graph on the machine. So let's see how the graph uh, works. So now we will observe the machine uh, graph on the scope, the green color one, to see the behavior for permanent bolted reverse fault occur at bus A. So when the we change the time to zero second, the rotor angle at zero to two second will become higher for machine generator number one, yellow color and blue color machine gener generator number two. Also, we will become higher at hundred and seventy value at two sec one point five second, and will achieve uh enter transient stability state at five seconds, and after six second, both machine generator one and machine generator two will enter steady state and achieve thermal equilibrium. While the machine number four angle in terms of degree will have initially will have unstable state during zero to two seconds and will enter uh, uh, stability will enter stability state and achieve thermal equilibrium after four seconds after the next four seconds until uh, 20 seconds while the rotor angle in per unit value in zero to two seconds time, uh, both uh, generator one, generator two, generator three, and generator four machine at area one and area two have uh, entered unstable state and use a lot amount of rotor speed up to 1.01 .01 per unit and will decrease linearly to 0 0.996 per unit after two seconds and will increase up back to three seconds three seconds uh, rotor speed and will enter transient stability state at five seconds and begin to become steady state after six seconds to 20 seconds while the electrical power consumed per unit in per unit for both generator one to generator four machine both electrical power consumed uh, is decrease up to negative 0 0.5 per unit for one second and at 0 to 3 second the electrical power consumed by generator machines are in uh, is in dynamic dynamic stability state which is unstable and begin to become stable and achieve thermal equilibrium after six seconds to after reach six seconds and up until 20 seconds end of the simulation time same for the voltage total voltage supply in per unit so this is the analysis and the observation of machine generator one to generator generator four behavior for permanent bolted three phase fault occurrence at at bus bus eight so now we will move to analysis on bus number five at area number one. Okay, now we will continue at analyze our fault analysis at bus number five. So we apply the three phase fault, uh, simscape, or MATLAB simulating block at uh, bus five, which is between the transformer T one and twenty five kilometer area one nominal pi transmission line at area one machine. So, uh, we apply uh, temporary temporary bolted uh, three phase fault. So we apply uh, the switching time for fourteen second in uh, this analysis. Uh, for our simulation time is the total time is twenty. So we apply switching time at 14 and we will observe the behavior of the uh, generator machine at area at area one for generator mach uh, machine one and generator machine two. So let's see at the scope. We click at the machine scope, this is the green color and will it output like this. So as we can see over here, the rotor angle for generator machine one and gener generator machine two 
which is the yellow color and the blue color is uh, slightly increased up to 180 degree or we can say that it is a uh, rotate in clockwise direction while the rotor angle at machine number four which is the red color is remain uh, stable throughout the simulation time is in a uh, stability state while the rotor angle in terms of angular and per unit value we can see that uh, between 0 to 2 seconds at uh, 0 to 1 second the rotor angle speed is in stability state and when entering 2 seconds the rotor angle is uh, also in stable state but for green and yellow color which is generator 1 which is generator 1 and generator 2 is increase at that time while gener generator 3 and generator 4 auto speed is decreased at that time and will begin to uh, have a linear value between 3 seconds up to 13 seconds and the rotor speed is in linear for that time and begin to increase uh, rotor speed begin to increase up to 1.03 per unit value for generator 1 and generator 2 as soon as it reaches 14 seconds so that is the fault disturbance occur the permanent disturbance occur for only 14 seconds at generator machine 1 and generator machine 2 rotor speed while the PA, which is the electrical uh, power consumed by generator 1 and generator 2, uh, in steady are in steady state or stable condition at 0 second to 13 second and begin to become unstable and have disturbance when it reach 14 seconds time of temporary voltage 3 phase 4. So, Let's see the and, and oh before that we see the voltage is also same for the generator one machine and generator two machine as mentioned in the electrical power consume the analysis is same so let's proceed for the last which is the analysis at uh, bus number eleven. Alright, now we will proceed to the final analysis at bus number 11 which is located at area number 2 machine on generator 3 and generator 4 and we apply the 3 phase 4 block on MATLAB simulink in between transformer 3 and nominal area pi transmission line system. So on the 3 phase 4 block, we apply the same switching time which is 40 seconds same same as the analysis that we did on bus number 5 on area 1 so default setting and click apply and ok now we will observe the behavior of the uh, generator machine number 3 and generator machine number 4 behavior on the machine scope so we, when we open the machine scope it will look like this and so same as before the oh no different the rotor angle versus uh, machine 4 uh, magnitude or degree as we can see the rotor angle for generator 1 and generator 2 which is the yellow color and blue color will turn into anti-clockwise and go to different direction on negative 50 degree and for the rotor angle on machine 4 will be in steady state from 0 to 13 seconds and will slightly increase after reach 14 seconds. While the rotor angle in terms of angular and per unit, we can see that the rotor angle uh, for generator machine number 3 and number 4 from 0 to 2 seconds, it will 0 to 1 second is in stable condition and when reach uh, from 1 second to 2 second it will slightly decrease uh, and enter transient state and after 3 seconds which is 4 seconds to 13 seconds the rotor speed will slightly uh, linear and enter stable condition or is in steady state 
And after 14 seconds, uh, both, uh, not both, or oh, machine number four, which is in the generator machine number four, which is the green color, will increase up only to 1.015 per unit. While the gener generator machine number three will increase up to 1.045 per unit. And both are in state, uh, steady state uh, after four to 14 seconds and will increase to 14 seconds because we set the switching time to 14 seconds. For the PA, which is the electrical power consumed by generator machine number three and number four is for zero to 13 seconds, both machines are in steady state and stable condition. But after 14 seconds, both generator three and generator four machine will enter dynamic state and is in unstable condition. And same for the voltage supply in per unit is also same case for electrical power consumed for generator machine number three and generator machine number four. So that's it from me. Thank you.